Hello, so today I have a new live solve for you. This puzzle is called The Slowest Thermometer by Philip Newman. And if you look at it, it has a thermometer on it that seems a little bit longer than it should be. So I'll go over the, the special rules for that in a sec. Um, based on the ratings in the Discord archive, this might actually be too easy for a live solve, but we'll see. Um, it does have, I think, 29 uh, one out of five difficulty ratings on there. So if you were going to try a puzzle that I post, this is a good one to do. Uh, hopefully it is quite approachable. And uh, I'm doing this because uh, I saw the puzzle and I wanted to do it. So there you go. Uh, no, no reason beyond that. I always like Phillips puzzles. And so yeah, so what are the rules? Well, we do have normal Sudoku rules. And digits along a thermometer uh, must not decrease from the bulb end. Uh, so the uh, we, we can repeat a number. You can see it goes diagonal a lot, so we're probably going to be doing a lot of repeats. Um, so as long as it doesn't you know, break any other Sudoku rules, like this diagonal here, uh, we can put a 1 here and then another 1 here. Um, and then we can keep putting 1s until Sudoku rules don't allow it. And then once we move up to 2, uh, we have to stay at 2, um, etc. until the end. So that's a, that's a slow thermometer. Um, and then also we have these circles around the grid, and they must be odd. Now I'm going to assume that doesn't include the thermometer bulb, um, so hopefully that is the case. But uh, these other ones that have circles, they must be odd. Um, and I'll, um, I'll put a little note on the screen if it ends up being that uh, the other circle had to be odd, like it wasn't solvable otherwise, but I'm pretty sure um, we don't need that. So. Uh, go ahead and click the link below if you want to try this yourself, and I will get started. So I, obviously the first thing to do is count how many cells we have here. Actually, I don't think we need to count. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to center mark what I think is the bare minimum placement um, along, and we'll see if we, we hit 9 or not. Um, so this can obviously be 1 all the way here. That doesn't break any rules. Here we have to move to 2. So I'm just going to do a greedy algorithm to start with. Um, my experience with some other slow thermos is that um, greedy isn't necessarily the only way to go about this. Um, but it's a good start to get an idea, because sometimes moving forward will actually let you repeat that digit more. That might be more of um, some other weird thermometers that I've seen, but I mean, definitely it seems like we get to nine here. We have three ones, three twos, three threes, three fours, three fives. Yeah, that I don't think that's gonna like moving on early is gonna help at all. Um, maybe what we could do is let, let's see if we had twos here. Um, oh, if we had ones, could we move on to two earlier? I don't think we could. Forgive me if this isn't uh, the only option, but it, it really does seem like it is, given how these these end up working out on the same row. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna fill all these digits, and we will see if we run into any problems doing it this way. So if that's the case, we I don't think we had to worry about whether this one's odd because it is odd, um, but it's also probably has to be one. So. Um, and for these, um, they have to be odd, so I'm going to put 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in them, and then I'll, I'll eliminate 1 and 5 from that. Um, doesn't see a 3. This sees a 5 and a 1. This sees a 7 and a 5. This sees a 5 and a 7 as well. Uh, and a 9. Oh, this also sees a 9. This sees a 9 and a 3. This sees a 9 and a 3, and a 7. Okay, so we have a 1-3 pair in this box. Um, what's left here? We got 2, 5, and 9, it looks like. So this is, a, this is the 9. Um, this is the 5, this is the 2. What's left here? Um, four and seven. So this is the four. 
Oops, no, I was wrong about four. Um, boy, this is getting hard to scan already. Uh, six and seven. So this is this is the six, and this is the seven. This is not seven. Um, so far, this is about as easy as the ratings claimed. So this is six. Um, this is the five, this is the seven. Seven's here somewhere. Uh, what's left here? We need a four, six, seven, eight. This can't be six or seven or eight. So this is four. Uh, this is six. And this is eight, this is seven. Is this just gonna all be naked singles? Um, seven, eight, nine, it's not eight. Okay, this is the eight. Uh, okay, this is nine, seven, because that's seven there. The two left here are th uh, not three, four and six, which I don't see immediately resolved. Um, how about here? Uh, three, six, and nine. That's not nine. So nine's up here somewhere. Ah, this is the three. Three, nine, six, four, six. This is this puzzle solves itself. Um, what do we need here? One, five, seven, eight. This isn't one, five. These two aren't seven. So this is the seven. It's not a five or an eight. So this is one, five, and eight. Um, this is the one, because the one sees down here. Remaining is two, three, and uh, five. That's not three. Remaining in this column is one, two, and four. That's not one, that's not four. That's not one, so that's the one. This column, we need a three that goes here, and we need a five that sees here. Ah, we have a three here, so that's five, three. The three was there that I placed. Um, wow, okay, not, not a difficult puzzle. Unless this doesn't solve, in which case I got the thermo wrong, so we'll see. We, we still have to go to the end. Um, two and four and five, it's not five. Triple here is two, eight, nine. Okay, there's two left here, um, four and eight. Here we need a one, so that goes here. We're done with ones. Last one goes here. Um, this is fillable. It's a nine. So that's not a nine. <coughs> this is fillable as a eight. So that's four and eight. Four C's down here. This is the five, two or four. This is, oh, oh, that means that's two. Okay. Um, so what am I actually missing here? Six. This isn't eight. Okay, so the eight is here. Uh, is this two and nine? Yeah, so two and nine, uh, two and What's left here? We need a three, that goes here. And we need a four, 
And then up here, uh, this looks pretty done to me. We need a two and we need a nine. All right, well, that was a puzzle, <laughs> almost. Um, all right, Philip. Sometimes you troll with difficult puzzles. This time you trolled with an easy puzzle, but I think what you wanted to do was make a viable puzzle that had the longest possible slow thermo, and I think you accomplished that. So I do wonder if there's some, uh, is there any way to make a thermo where there's four of the same digits in a row? Like, I don't think there is. I think this is the only way to do it. Because you, you can only progress three along um, you, or you could only progress four along uh, on a on a four diagonal, and so uh, two or three of them are going to be in the same box. So you either repeat in the box like that or repeat in the box like that. There's no way you're going to escape a box by only moving four, um, or get through th all three boxes by only moving four. So yeah, this is this is the longest possible thermo uh, that uses the slow rules. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very easy puzzle. I'll have a, a harder one for you uh, next time. Um, we're going to see if, I, I already know it's what it's going to be. Uh, we're going to see if it ends up a live solve or a showcase. So uh, it does look like it is quite difficult. Uh, so we will see. Um, so a nice reprieve from the uh, difficult puzzles for today. And I hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next one.